we're the company, they're going to bring data processing and intelligence to the edge, enabling cloud edge conversions with everything connected. That's our mission, that's the new Qualcomm, and that's what's really creating opportunity for growth as we see a number of new end markets, including automotive for our technology roadmap, and markets that are growing in many cases at uh, double digit rates. The digital transformation of the automotive is happening at unprecedented pace. On our last earnings call, we updated the design pipeline to 19 billion. Within about two months, we added 11 billion to the pipeline. And it is now $30 billion and really reflects how uniquely positioned the Snapdragon digital chassis is and how we're really creating a platform for the automotive industry. Once you connect the car to the cloud, everything changes. The car becomes a center for services, for distribution of content, for new applications. For the first time, the car companies have an opportunity to have a direct relationship with the car owner in real time. That's where we focus on, and focus on building a platform that will enable all of those new services, applications, and technology transitions for the car company. There is a lot of overlap between core technology that we build and what the automotive transformation requires. We partner very broadly. We work with tier ones, we work with automakers, the entire ecosystem. And the big shift that is upon us is as technology companies, car companies have to be able to have a set of partners that are different, that are unique. Let's move over to Snapdragon Ride, which I know a lot of you are very interested in learning about. If you think about level two, you now have further intelligence beyond cruise controls. As you start to move to L2 plus and then L3 and beyond, now you start to get into areas where the vehicle is designed to be able to add more comfort. As you start to move towards L4, where you want to be able to have redundant systems, you want to be able to have a backup system that will take you. And eventually you start to get to robo taxis and driverless cars where you're just adding more and more complexity. Snapdragon Ride supports a portfolio that addresses all of these tiers. We also provide our car to cloud services platform which is basically a cloud connectivity service that is built in into the edge device, has its host back in the cloud, and we can host customer services, we can also provide our own. This is now becoming a trend that we are starting to see as a variety of different devices get connected. Connectivity is very important, and connectivity is about not just connecting the car to the cloud, but also connecting the car within itself, connecting the car to the charging station. We support all of those technologies. We have 250 million vehicles on the road with our modems today. We have shipped over 400 million Wi-Fi Bluetooth products into automotive. We are now in our 10th generation of modems for the car. The next category I want to talk about is the digital cockpit, and this is something we are very proud of. The cockpit is becoming the space where the OEM extends their brand, their identity, their relationship with the automaker. It is a space that has the intersection of many, many industry trends. Augmented reality, high resolution displays, premium audio, voice assistance. The auto industry today develops on the Snapdragon digital cockpit. Building safety focused solutions. We acquired Arriver six months ago. We are now co-designing the stack and the, and the camera technology as one example. This is something that is very unique to Qualcomm because having all of this technology under one roof isn't something that I can imagine any other company has access to. If you think about how the industry is transforming and how our product portfolio has expanded, when you put those two together, we have a much larger addressable market than we had in the past. The attractive part about this market for us, of course, is the strong, sustained growth opportunity. And what this does is makes us one of the largest chip companies in the auto industry. It positions us to be the leader here. Today, we are already operating at scale in connectivity and digital cockpit. ADAS, as you would expect, is an investment mode. We are investing in the chip, we are investing in the software roadmap, and with the arriver acquisition. Things are going in our favor. The industry trends from an electrification, ADAS, software-defined vehicle perspective, it puts us at an advantage. This is a very important event for Qualcomm. 
And I'll say it's probably graduation day for the Qualcomm Automotive business as we position ourselves and establish partnerships to be one of the largest automotive providers of technology for the future of automotive. We're winning the digital future of the automotive semiconductor business.